public through brickbats at Sussex's Hollywood maneuver for building castle in U.S. Air. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were very keen on transitioning to Hollywood six months after their royal wedding, a royal biographer has claimed. A royal expert has claimed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were considering a move to Hollywood long before their Megxit announcement in January 2020. In the latest edition of his book Meghan, A Hollywood Princesses, Andrew Morton claims that Prince Harry held meetings with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey six months after the couple's royal wedding, and their transition to their current celebrity lifestyle was a thought-through plan. Speaking on the podcast Royal, Royal biographer Andrew Morton said, As I've discovered from talking to people in the Hollywood entertainment industry, they were thinking about Hollywood long before they decided against being inside the royal family. Some six months after the wedding, Prince Harry was deep in conversation in a London hotel with Oprah Winfrey and several executives about doing a tell-all interview. That avenue, together with conversations with Jeffrey Katzenberg about a streaming internet service called Quibi which didn't last very long, and the fact that Meghan is working with Elton John's husband David Furnish on a show called Pearl, shows that they were very keen on Hollywood. So it wasn't like an impulsive we've got to get away like the way they've portrayed it, it wasn't like they arrived in LAX with two suitcases and a cuddly toy and hitched a ride on a Greyhound bus. This was all part of a thought-through plan. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced that they would be stepping down from their roles as senior working royals less than two years after their royal wedding in May 2018. Their decision sparked a crisis for the British monarchy, and led to a series of discussions at Sandringham to negotiate a Megxit deal. The couple relinquished their royal patronages and their HRH statuses, and were told to secure a means to becoming financially independent. Shortly after completing their final engagements in March 2020, the Sussexes relocated to California and launched their own non-profit foundation, Archul. It was soon announced that they had signed a multi-million pound deal with streaming giants Netlif and Spotify, which would see them executive produce and feature in a number of projects. Estimated to be worth over £100 million, the couple will produce a range of informative and uplifting content. Whilst a Spotify podcast is yet to be announced, the Sussexes have released information about their first two projects with Netflix. Prince Harry is currently producing and featuring in a docu-series titled Heart of Invictus, which will follow the organizers and competitors of the 2022 Invictus Games. Two-year-old girl on a series of heroic adventures, as she engages with influential women throughout history. Sir Elton John's husband, David Furnish, has joined her as a producer, with a release date expected in 2022. As well as their Netflix projects, the couple have participated in a two-hour tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, which aired on CBS earlier this year. The Sussexes detailed their rift with the royal family, which included allegations of racism and the palace ignoring Meghan's mental health. Prince Harry followed this interview by producing a docu-series alongside Oprah Winfrey for Apple TV+, which covered his mental health and the trauma of losing his mother at a young age. He has also conducted high-profile interviews with James Corden and Dax Shepard for the podcast.